Ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time again, time for another episode of Brawl News, and we have a ton of stuff to discuss. We have an update on the new Evil Jesse skin that we discussed in the last episode of Brawl News, actually being able to see it in a different context. Pretty dang certain it's coming to the game. We have brand new pin offers and pin collections that came out this weekend. We've got to get straight away into some Brawloween update speculation, as well as some updates on the Brawl Stars World Finals that I'm sure you guys are going to want to know about. So hope you guys are all pumped up. Let's get straight away into it. Here we go! So as always, if you guys enjoy what you see here in these episodes of Brawl News, be sure you're subscribed to the channel. I got a feeling we have some interesting stuff right around the corner with this update slowly approaching the Brawloween updates. And I'll do my best to keep you guys in a loop on anything that I come across in the community. But everyone, with all of that out of the way, we are beginning today's video off picking up on a story that we discussed in the last episode of Brawl News, and that is the part eight of Who Stole the Trophy, us uncovering the actual thief, as well as seeing the cat burglar Jesse skin, which people think think are coming to the game. Now, in the last episode of Brawl News, we watched part eight from the live stream, not the official video, because we got to jump on it before it was posted later that day. So the actual video itself had a small blip at the very end that was not in the live stream that I want to go over with all of you here in today's video, as well as get into further information on the Cap Burglar Jesse skin. So picking up here at the very end of the video, guys, I'm a little bit proud of myself. We made the end credits, but after the credits, there also is a small little blip that's pretty dang interesting all right so we should be coming up here very very shortly. oh i see ray brawl stars in there nice and kairos pretty dang op obsessive theorist ray brawl stars at the very top along with kairos guys hey i'll take myself as an obsessive theorist <laughs> i feel like i fall under that category but getting to the final blip now where did i put that trophy So definitely wasn't a ton of additional information in the animation, but I just found it really, really interesting that, you know, Cat Burglar Jesse lost the trophy in the junkyard, and I believe this is the siege environment with that motorhome in the background. Really, really cool. Dandy pointing this out in a tweet five days ago as well, where we can see the background there with the motorhome as well as in the actual siege environment along with the crane itself. So dang awesome, guys. <laughs> it's amazing. Now, shortly after the part eight of Who Stole the Trophy aired, there was a really interesting campaign going over here on Twitter with a bunch of different pro players taking part and that was tweeting out a bunch of different shreds of interesting pieces of an image. Here's one for example. Here's another one right here with a really interesting detail on the bottom left is that cat burglar Jesse. And here's another one just to drive it home. All decorated pro players tweeting these out and of course there were several more popping out leaving us to try to piece together the mystery of this puzzle. So of course a ton of people in the community tried to piece them all together. People such as Dandy posting this over on his Twitter page, trying to piece it together as close as possible. And guys, when I say the whole community was kind of taking part in this on Twitter, I'm not exaggerating. So many people were futzing around with this puzzle, trying to figure out what the image was, which we can kind of tell what it is with this one. We have versions such as this being so, so good. We can see Cat Burglar Jesse here with the World Finals trophy all pieced together, but even more perfect if you ask ask me. We have it so dang neatly put together here. I got to give a huge shout out to Dandy Stuff for doing this one here. So amazing. Guys, Cat Burglar Jesse, I got a feeling, is right around the corner. In my opinion, if this was the end result of who stole the trophy, I would be pretty dang content. I feel like most of the fun when it came to this mystery was just following it and trying to figure it out. So if we got a skin to kind of remember all of the cool times that we have with this mystery, I'd be more than happy. So I got a feeling if this is a skin coming to the game, that it would be coming around the time Time the world finals would be airing just to kind of hype up the event because it is a pretty big deal there's a million dollars on the line right so i'll make sure to keep you guys updated on when the skin might be coming to the game of course jesse does have a ton of skins already in brawl stars but hey come on <laughs> i think we can all agree that this is a phenomenal phenomenal skin but next everyone transitioning to a bit more light-hearted news here in today's video we are over here on my ray cult account to outline some really exciting new pin offers that came out this weekend some that we've never seen in 
and Brawl Stars before. As you can see, if we go to the shop, we currently have a common pin offer. Now, I was going to do a video much like I do for epic pin pack openings, but it would kind of defeat the purpose. The whole purpose of the video is to try to get the epic Mortis pin, which I guess we could get in a common pin pack, but I felt like it would just be a little bit boring if we're just getting one common pin from the offer. But really, really interesting. I don't know how I feel about it. I do think it's pretty dang cool for free to play players or players who don't have a ton of gems that want to get certain pins in the game having a opportunity to do so with a common pin offer. But that's not all. The common pin was not the only thing that came out this weekend. There was also a rare pin pack that some people were getting on their accounts. I checked every single one of my accounts here in the game and I don't have a single one. It's branded almost as if it were a epic pin pack. The pack itself is like pink, much like the epic pin pack that we know of here in the game, but it has all rare pins. So clapping and thumbs up. And in hindsight, I wouldn't want to open up that pack because on some of the accounts, if you get all of your rare pins, you won't be able to open up a pin pack. So I would steer clear of that one in my circumstance here. But I think for the fun of it, everyone, we're going to be opening up a few of these here on the main accounts. First, starting off with the Ray Cult account, let's get the common pin. Let's see what it is. <laughs> a regular bull common pin. It feels so bizarre just getting one common pin from an offer. But here we go. Pin pack. What do we got? Brock, Gale, Nita, Clap. Looking good. Next up, we have Tribray here. Ooh, okay. Hello. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> let's freaking go. Okay, common pin. What do we got? Come on, Clut. Nice. I'll take it. I'll take it. Pin pack. Tick, Rosa, Brock, clap. Guys, we're getting all the clap pins. And then finally, the main account. Can you guys imagine we get the Mortis Heart pin of the regular pin pack in a not pin pack opening video? It would be absolutely insane. So I'm starting off with a common pin here. What do we got? Meg Cry. Nice, nice, nice. Some of my first Meg pins. But here we are with the pin pack. Come on. What do we got? Meg, Meg, M's, clap. Let's go. That's a good pin pack. Let's go. Let's go. But yeah, guys, I would have much rather opened up a epic pin offer here this weekend, but it's really, really cool to see that the Brawl Stars dev team is incorporating new exciting offers. Maybe we'll see a rare pin offer. And now with the introduction of skin pins here in the game, who knows what's in store for us in the future when it comes to pin offers and pin openings here. This is my main account. I did the VA bit challenge last night. Guys, I couldn't not get these pins. Are you kidding me? We have Rockabilly Mortis pin. <laughs> it's beautiful. But next up, transitioning to a bit more of a speculation segment here in this episode of Brawl News, and that is all regarding the next update coming out here. I'm guessing very, very shortly. As we all know, every year we have the Brawloween updates, which are some of my absolute favorites. Guys, I don't know if you know this about your boy Ray, but Halloween is my favorite holiday. It's so much freaking fun. But the last Brawloween update last year aired October 17th, 2020, which if you guys check the calendar, it is currently October 10th. So we're getting really, really close to that point. So I think we can kind of gear up, strap in for maybe a possible Brawl Talk coming around the corner. And it's always nice that we know what the update might be centralized around, and that's Brawloween. Now, it is incredibly important to keep in mind that we still have 28 days left in Season 8 of the Brawl Pass. So we already have somewhat of a timeline that we can expect when this Brawl Halloween update, probably getting a Brawl Talk a week or two before the Brawl Pass season ends, which is what we normally get. It's a Brawl Talk, then sneak peeks, and then we wait a little bit before the next season of the Brawl Talk comes out with all the information already present to us, just awaiting the new Brawl Pass to come out, right? That's how it's always been here for the new seasons of the Brawl Pass. So yeah, guys, it feels like we just came off of an update with Meg, but I think it's time to kind of start getting excited and gear up for this next update, the Brawl Halloween update to come around the corner. It's going to come much quicker than you think. And speaking of this Brawloween update slowly approaching, several people getting really excited for the Brawloween update from this post a few days ago over here on the Brawl Stars official Twitter page. I don't think it has anything to do with Brawloween, but my goodness, people were really taking this and running with it over on YouTube and other things when it came to speculation. We have Mortis as a wolf, Belle as a grandma, we have B there as Little Red Riding Hood, and Spike up on the roof. As always, finding his way in these photos that are posted to the Brawl Stars social medias. Why is Spike always in these photos, man? <laughs> I'm not 
not complaining. It's cute as heck, but my goodness. <laughs> so yeah, guys, of course, I'm assuming we will be getting some other sneak peeks over on the Brawl Stars social medias that we most definitely will be going over here on this channel in the form of another episode of Brawl News, which is always really, really exciting, guys. I always look forward to updates and update speculation. It's so much freaking fun. But yeah, guys, that's just about it here for this episode of Brawl News. Always fun and exciting things to discuss here inside of the Brawl Stars community. Hope you guys are excited for the upcoming fun things right around the corner, such as a potential new Jesse skin and Brawloween right around the corner. It's all really, really exciting. But yeah, everyone, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to slap a like on it. I'd really appreciate that. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Keep having fun, Brawl Stars, and we'll see you in the next video. Adios, you guys. Take care.